All right, guys. So I'm gonna do a quick Q and A on this Android Ted tablet head unit thing. So I get a lot of questions and uh, inboxes about does this thing have 3G and 4G capability out of the box? It does not. So you're gonna need a hotspot if you want to use any kind of internet on the go. Uh, don't confuse that with the GPS though, because I think I get a lot of questions even more about hey, can, how am I supposed to hook up to, you know, how am I supposed to get directions and stuff? You don't need internet connection for GPS. If you like Best Buy, you buy a TomTom Tom or Garmin. You imp input 1234 imaginary drive, and you should be able to enter that destination, and it shows you the route without any cellular connection. So I hope that clears it up. You can GPS without cellular um, or internet at all. Uh, I like the hotspot idea too. That's really easy on Samsung phones. You just turn on the hotspot and you're good to go. iPhone's the same way. So does iPhone and Android work with this unit? Yes, it does. You don't have to worry about that. And it can be the both of them can mirror link. Um, so there's that. Let me show you a cool app that I also like too, because uh, some people are asking me like, what app should I get? This is called Music Match, and what it does is it puts the lyrics of the songs you have. So um, let's say if I was playing a song, you can um, have it play while I guess your your you know your passengers are listening to music while you're driving. And maybe you want to sing along too. Just you know pay attention to the road too. And, um, but there's several ways you can have the lyrics like that. So it comes really in handy, and it makes the car trip like a little karaoke place. And, you know, I love some karaoke. Um, so yeah, there's that too. Hope that clears it up. That's the music app. That will work with the your Bluetooth. So if you're just listening to music through Bluetooth or anything like that, it'll still pick up the songs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and let me answer another question. Let me check out my little Facebook. Someone's, some people are asking about what's the difference between 4.4 and 5.1. From my understanding, 4.1 is 4.4 uh, is uh, it boots up faster and it's uh, cheaper, uh, obviously. And uh, the 5.1 is uh, has a little bit more features. I think it has another dual Bluetooth, so you'll be able to connect your Bluetooth controllers, or let's say you like that Torque app, you can be able to do that on that as well. Um, let's see. The so that's another one. The 5.1 also has the better heat sink too. So if you want a more robust heat sink from the get go, uh, I would go for the 5.1. It's more easy to use and it has a little bit more features. Can you retain your um, subwoofer, or if you're planning to get a subwoofer, yes, you can use your subwoofer. It has an output for your subwoofer. Uh, yeah, another question I get asked a lot is, can it work with a rear backup camera? I'm just trying to say it does work out with your if you have a 16 17 it does work it has that connection if you're in reverse it automatically skips the loading screen let's say when you first turn on your car and you instantly reverse it just skips the reverse screen and then it goes uh, skips the loading screen and goes instantly to the reverse screen so the next question is does the steering wheels control work if you watch my review yes the steering wheels control works you don't need any extra um, cables it just works uh, and then the, let's see the next question is the, do the vents work yes my vents work as you can see here it, it fits it's not f super flush but it fits and it works is there any lag you notice uh, from the unit that just in general this just suffers the unit has been super smooth to me. I have no lag issues. The stock unit was very laggy compared to this one right here. Bluetooth hooks up super fast. I have no issues uh, with the processors. Looks like Ryan Rez asks, where do you get all the parts from? Uh, I bought the head unit from AliExpress and I bought the harnesses for, if you have the Harman Kardon, I bought it from um, AE64.com. Next question is, can you get Google Maps offline mode to work? Yes, you can. Uh, you just have to download your state. I think Google Maps in particular, not 
downloads a particular region. So let's say if you're from the Bay Area, you can download the Bay Area location, North Cal, etc. It does take a lot more memory, so keep that in mind. Can you use Waze? Yes, you can use Waze on this. It's just you need a hotspot so it has an internet connection to work. Ronin69 asks, uh, do, can you upgrade your firmware and you know to Nougat or Marshmallow? Yes and no. I've seen some guys online do it, but it's not simple. I think you'd be very happy to keep it the way it is and uh, not, not mess it up. So uh, there is no official support from this manufacturer. Keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Are there pre-outs for this? Yes, you can, there are pre-outs if you want to hook up to additional software to it or uh, sound. Does, this, the, does the 4.4 have an OB2 connector to see engine data? Uh, there is no CAN bus information. Uh, the way you would have to do it is through Bluetooth and this 4.4 cannot do it. It does not have that Bluetooth capability. You need the 5.1 from, from my understanding. All right, next question is how loud is the fan? Um, I the, the fan is actually pretty loud stock on the 4.4. So um, I added some resistors in the additional heat sink. Um, let's see if you can hear that. Can't focus. You can hear it now like a little bit, but it's not... It's like a laptop, kind of like idling. It's not that bad anymore. But before, it sounded like your laptop on max, which is a problem for me because acoustics matter to me, especially since it's a head unit and it matters about sound and uh, music.